So every now and again, I look at some of the sculptures that I create, and I think they're just not quite right. You know, I think I'm done with them, then I'll set them aside sometimes and just you know live with them for a little while and go, nope, nope, that's wrong. I got to change that. One of those sculptures is Big Bang, and this is what it used to look like. And the sculpture sold. It went to its new forever home, and it got damaged. So they returned it. Well, the damage was so bad, I had to literally strip it down to bare metal and start over to try to get some sort of a finish on it. Totally new finish, and I think it turned out absolutely spectacular, even better than the first time. And this sculpture sold within like a week after it was finished. Another sculpture I lived with for a little while was Diamante. Big, massive, double diamond shape. Both of them spin independently of one another. And I did it in this kind of bright silver color. And I thought, oh, that looks pretty good. I like it that way. I like the bright, shiny look. People would see it, you know, we'd take it to the gallery and, you know, set it up over there. We never got any interest. It just never, you know, the sculpture just never got any traction. Took it back to the studio, stripped all the silver paint off of her, and did the sculpture in red. Oh my God, what a change. We had two people fighting over it, trying to buy it. And Diamante became Fuego. Another sculpture I changed, not so much because structurally I didn't like it, but because the location wasn't quite right, was Mondo monster, never-ending sculpture. I don't know, a couple hundred pounds worth. Big, slinky, it was so much fun to make. It was such a booger to move, just because it was a slinky. It just sits there and wiggles everywhere. But the color wasn't right. The customer said, it's beautiful, I love it. Except it won't fit in my house. You know, it won't work in my house. There's nothing like that color anywhere around. So I went over and looked, and you know what? They were absolutely correct. Had it stripped, had it redone in an orange instead. Now it fits in in their yard. It just looks better that way. Well, that's something to keep in mind. You know, sometimes the color I pick on my workbench or I pick in my heart, that may not be the best color. So be open to change. So now this sculpture, this is called Moonshine, and it's a trefoil knot. That's the name of the actual geometric shape. Early on, I did one called Not Me, and it was out of square tubing. It stood about 36 inches tall, sitting down flat on the floor. Nice presence, you know, had a good, had a good guy presence to it. I think because it was so low, it, nobody saw it. You know, we had it in the gallery, and nobody really paid much attention to it, other than I like, caught oh, one guy putting his drink on it. I can change that, bring it back to the studio, and pick it up and put it on a triangular base on one corner. Paint it red, and lo and behold, the city of Surprise, Arizona, was now interested in it. But before they could get all their paperwork done, an organization in Washington, D.C. saw it online. So it lives in an office building there in Washington, D.C. someplace. So I had to make a new one, a new version for the city of Surprise. A little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, a little bit wider. It now lives out in front of City Hall in Surprise, Arizona. You never know what's going to happen. You know, you change something just the tiniest a little bit, and all these doors get opened all of a sudden. And I'm sure some of you will remember this one. This is Charged Particle. It's one of my top five favorite sculptures that I've ever done. But even this one is going to undergo some changes here real quick. And what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and put a bearing down here in the pedestal and put a shaft in it that'll come up and hook into the bottom of the sculpture itself because she's gonna go live outside back in New York. My, one of my collectors saw it, saw the video where I named it one of my top five pieces. They said, I want it. So put a bearing in it so it can spin and then we're gonna get all the blue paint off of it and we're gonna go with some of the super shift color change paint. So as it sits there and rotates, it'll change colors. That's gonna be really cool. And even the title of this sculpture is gonna change. From charged particle, it's gonna become supercharged particle. So I guess what I'm really trying to say in this video is, change is good, you know, embrace the change. You look at it and you think, it's nice, it could be better. Don't be afraid, just jump back in there and change it again and again and again and again, until finally it feels good in here. That's what I'm striving for, is to be able to have the sculpture go, I'm done, and I say, yeah, you're right, you are done. So thank you for watching. 
Don't forget to come out to my website and look at some of my other creations, and I'll see you online. So thank you for watching. <clears throat>